Hi, good day. This is Paul Carpenter from Solace. Today I'm going to be speaking about meter troubleshooting again and I'm going to be focusing on CT polarity. It's extremely important that we've got our polarity for our CTs correct because if an meter thinks that positive power is negative power, it will almost do the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. In the case of export power management, if you've got it the wrong way around, it's very dangerous for the grid now because when these systems importing or exporting 100 kilowatts and you've got an export limit of 100 kilowatts, it will think that is import and it will just ask the inverters, generate more, generate more, generate more. So it's a big problem in case of export power management. And then in self-use with, with storage type systems, it's, it's also just an ex a massively big problem if you've got phase rotation because when the how the default logic for a hybrid inverter works is if it's importing you discharge the batteries to cancel out that import and if the polarity is opposite and it's exporting when it thinks it's importing it will do the opposite of what you expect and waste the customer's um, electricity bill significantly so CT polarity is extremely important with regards to all our products uh, luckily, it, it is relatively easy to troubleshoot. So the logic for our meters and all our products is positive values of real power equals export. It's, it's a, um, gener a state when you're generating more solar power, which is a positive thing. You're generating lots of solar power and it's more than your consumption in the house. So it's a positive thing and it's a positive value. So your real power value on your meter, on your Solus Export Power Manager, on your Solus Hybrids, when it's positive, it means that it thinks it's exporting. And then conversely, when it's negative, it thinks it's importing. So when, you're, when, you're, when your usage in your house or um, your charging power is greater than the generation of the solar or anything injecting power into the system, then it's, it's importing. You are buying electricity from the grid and then on the, on the meters, on the Solus EPM, on the Solus hybrids, it will show up as a negative number. So using that logic, we can make sure that the system, it's quite often to know what state the system is in. So what I generally recommend, if you don't have the ability to control the hybrid inverter um, well, what you can do is just turn off all generators. So turn off all PV inverters, turn off all hybrids, turn off anything that, that creates a dynamic of injection. And then you can make the assumption that there must be only importers of electricity on the system so only loads in the in the system so if it's a commercial site that that is generally assumption that's quite safe maybe a residential site doesn't have any loads if it's a new build you won't be able to make that assumption and then you can program the inverter to do something like charging the batteries or discharging the batteries and then you apply the same logic but generally you can make the system importing and be confident that it is importing so turn off all the products turn off all the generators anything that can inject power and then we know that it must be in an importing state on each phase. Then you go through to the meter and look at the per phase powers. Very important to look at the per phase powers. On the export power manager, you can see the per phase powers. On the hybrids and storage inverters, you can see the per phase powers. And very importantly, on the meters themselves, you can see the per phase powers. Don't look at kilowatt hour values. Don't look at KVAR values. Make sure you are looking at K kilowatt values, KW values, um, because that's, that's where the real power is and that's where uh, polarity will be um, the signing factor on, on telling you if it's correct polarity or not. Okay, so, on, so I've already made the system into an importing state, so I've turned on a hybrid inverter to start charging the batteries, which I know is an importing thing. If I wanted to make it an exporting thing, I could make the hybrid inverter discharge. So there's little tricks you can do on the, when you've got the luxury of, of, a, of a battery, you can either charge or discharge, which is different things. But just think about what you're doing when, you, when you're following the logic. Um, as I said, most cases it will be a commercial site. You won't have, or you won't be able to guarantee that the sun is shining. So just turn off all generators, turn off all the storage inverters, hybrid inverters, and then you go through to the meter 
and you look at the per phase powers. So at the moment on this meter, I know that the system is importing and I've got 1.28 kilowatts negative on line one, I've got negative on line two, but I've got positive on line three, which is telling me that there's an issue with phase three only because I'm importing, it should be negative. So I've got an issue on phase three. So what I would do is I've got options here. So what I'm gonna do first, this is the most obvious and the neatest way to fix it, is take the physical CT, the physical CT, and disconnect it and then rotate it. Only CT3. Okay, and now it's a negative number. The same magnitude, that's very important to note. It, we haven't changed the magnitude, we've just changed the polarity. And that's fixed now, that's working. Other ways to fix it is we could have um, taken the cables going in. So there's a black cable and there's a white cable. If we swapped those around, it would have done exactly the same thing, but it would have looked untidy and it, it, it's a um, messy way to deal with it because you haven't fixed the core problem of the CT being physically wrong. Um, the other way to do it is if it's a single phase CT, you can swap the live and the neutral. Again, that's a messy cowboyish way to deal with it, um, but there are many ways to skin the cat and, and that's now fixed. That's a perfect way of troubleshooting. Thank you.